Hey guys, 7 WWE Rocks here, and today's video is going to be about last night and The Undertaker accepting Bray Wyatt's challenge for WrestleMania. Now, this segment was really good, and to be quite honest, I I feel you know I feel bad for the people in the in the arena that wanted Undertaker to come out, but I kind of didn't want Undertaker to come out because I really kind of do like this idea that they're saving him to WrestleMania at first. I hated it, and I know a lot of people are probably thinking that's really dumb of me to even say that, but I I really kind of am glad that he's not going to be there because I just feel like every year we get the same thing. We get him coming back for WrestleMania, coming back to hype up the match, and then you know doing a few, few uh, promos, and then maybe one uh, actual fist-to-fist -fist fight with the guy. I think him and Brock only did that once. They might have done it twice, to be honest. But... I'm just glad that it's something different, something new, and uh, apparently, you know, Undertaker basically set up the segment real fast. Bray Wyatt was calling him out. He had uh, like a table and with the urn on it, open the urn to like release the Undertaker, I guess, and set him free. And uh, the urn started smoking and smoking and smoking. The lights went out, gong, you know, the big gong. And uh, when they came back on in the middle of the ring, the table and the urn was gone. But Bray Wyatt's chair, his uh, new chair, because I remember it got broke, broken by uh, Dean Ambrose, I think. It was it was there in the middle of the ring, and Bray Wyatt was like, you know, screaming, where are you, blah, blah, blah. And then the music kept, or it kept gonging and stuff, and I think the music started playing or something. But lightning struck the... Um, chair and it's caught on fire and uh, on the screen it said uh, the man come around which is a Johnny Cash song so people are rumors on the dirt sheets have been saying that he probably will use another Johnny Cash song he's used them of course before but um, I listened to the song I've heard that song a few times before for my brother but listen to it I don't know it seems kind of upbeat not the words per se but just the rhythm of the music it sounds too upbeat to be an Undertaker theme song but we'll see what happens and uh, yeah, so the, light, the chair was on fire, and Bray Wyatt was enjoying it. He was laughing. He was so happy that The Undertaker accepted, and uh, I thought it went just so good with uh, just Undertaker's playing mind games with a wrestler who seems like he actually likes the mind games, and he enjoys doing mind games with The Undertaker, which I think is really cool. So Bray Wyatt laughed while it happened, so I'm hoping for Undertaker to... Not, maybe not, I'm not thinking the biker gimmick, but I'm thinking he needs to look kind of different. Like, it needs to be some gimmick change. I'm not just talking about, like, a different outfit, you know. Each year he kind of does a, a different variation of the outfit. I think it needs to be something very different, something we've never seen before, and just something crazy that really starts to make it look like Bray Wyatt's actually scared of The Undertaker from how he looks. So, I like the idea of him not showing up until WrestleMania, the, his entrance. Let me know what you guys think. Please, in the comment section, uh, let me know down below. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 rocks And a lot of topics to talk about. Uh, if you don't know, I'm going to be out of town starting Thursday all the way to Sunday. So it's going to be, um, I'm not going to be able to do uh, videos Thursday till Sunday. So a lot of topics to be discussed. Uh, WWE has been, um, is now going to trademark the two sweet symbol. So they're trying to screw the Young Bucks, screw the Bullet Club out of do doing merchandise sales and stuff with that. So that really sucks. Also, WWE sent out an email to certain people about NXT, about the touring schedule and such. And one of the questions was, do you watch independent pro wrestling? And it had uh, Pro Wrestling Guerrilla, Ring of Honor, and a lot more uh, independent companies on the list and saying, do you watch these? So... Um, a lot of people are thinking they're trying to buy out uh, independent groups. I don't think that at all. I think it's just they're trying to they're gonna sign independent guys, have them go along with NXT tour around, and then maybe uh, maybe only sign them for NXT deals when they uh, tour around. But I don't think it's them buying out uh, independent groups. But let me know what you guys think. Again, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Seven WB Rocks. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the whole Undertaker Brody Wyatt feud. And uh, thanks for watching. As always, have a nice day. Thank you, guys.